Good morning. I haven't done a video in a while, and I thought I would just do one. <laughs> I really am terrible at reviews, so this is not a review of any product. <clears throat> but I really recently got into colored pencils, and I was out at Hobby Lobby, and I saw this really cheap 12-color, 2-millimeter refills. And then I saw more pencils and more pencils. And I said, hmm, wouldn't it be cool to make your own tricolor? Well, I got out my 5.6 millimeter lead holder that I made myself with coffee sticks. <clears throat> and I put five of these really cheap 2 millimeter color refills in there. And sure enough, it takes a minute to break it in, but you can roll it around, get lots of colors out of it, and really experiment with making your own pentacolor pencil. This has five leads. These aren't my favorite leads, but I thought, what a good way to use them up. Since my last video, I quit collecting pens. I have more pens than I can use if I live to be 99. <laughs> so I've decided now it's pencils. But I watched a lot of reviews about pencils. I've had some pretty decent pencils in my life, but... Um, I went all out and picked the very best ones and I got the Derwent Light Fast 100s. I've been swatching or coloring swatches. Not sure swatching is a word. I'm not sure. And uh, enjoying them. And I got some of the newer professional metallics that aren't water soluble plus I got a few more of the drawing set and did some light fastness tests with those it wasn't so much about the light fastness I trusted that but at first I didn't have any pretty colors it was all earth and so I mixed them with my June gold pencils which are not really light fast but on um, like this pencil the one of the orange ones is like as good as this but what I did was mix them to get a a lot of colors a lot of colors for landscapes and earthy tones and it was just gorgeous some of these colors do look lighter and I'm not sure if it's wax some of the colors I thought well oh they faded but then later I realized that wax had surfaced and just made them look lighter. So, um, yeah, I really love that Solway blue. The ink blue is one of my favorites. I even tested my India ink pens to make sure they were really good. Because I had a few colored pencils. The black pencil, which is not your usual graphite, had some fading. And I have a, a watercolor from like over a decade ago that faded to a Mars brown. And it was originally, I believe, black. But yeah, the, the fading to me is pretty. It's distressed. It's nice. The only thing I don't like is fugitive colors that completely disappear or color shifts that are nowhere close to what your original intent might be. So, um, yeah, I did a lot of testing, lots of it. The lighting may be a little bit too strong in here to enjoy these colors, but they're they're really nice, really really nice. So yeah. 
I think the other thing is I use these tablecloth holders to hold my pages down when the wind is blowing or the fan is on or something. I thought that was really cool. I just keep up with them, though, because they do look like they would be kind of a, a harsh jag if you stepped on one. <laughs> So, yeah, I finally went out shopping in a real shopping center. I got Create a Color, a six-pack of the, each one of the Create a Colors, uh, 5.6 millimeter refills, too. And uh, those are just great. One is kind of like a white chalk. Uh, one is a creamy sepia or something like that. Uh, then there's a waxy one. There's an oil one, a graphite, and a, a black charcoal, and a medium charcoal. That was really nice. And I'm trying out some cray pie expressions. And I got Master's Touch, but the Woodless Watercolor Pencils, I'm not all that into watercolors. I just thought... They still were supposed to color like regular pencils, so um, I'm not good at watercolors. I've been an oil painter my whole life. I've done some work with my new pencils, but I, I'm kind of protecting the copyrights right now. But this is uh, this is as far as I can go. So, um, see ya.